This is Regain Wellness Podcast with Jamie Logie. Today, I'm reviewing the new energy supplement. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the podcast, or welcome for the first time if this is your first time joining me. I'm Jamie Logie. I run regainwellness.com. And this is a Regain Wellness podcast of the same name, so thanks for coming on out today. And today's a supplement review, which I haven't done for a little while, and it's just because of something I've been able to use and I like, and if you've seen it wherever, uh, maybe you just want a little more insights into it. So it's called New Energy, so N-E-U Energy, and it's a Canadian supplement company, which I like to support in general. I don't have any connection to the supplements I review, just things I think are good, and the fact they're Canadian is uh, just makes it even more beneficial, I think. So today, it's going to cover what it is, um, what's in it, how it works, how I found it, potentially what you could expect from it. So, you know, a little bit of everything all in one shot. So let's get right to it. So if you haven't heard any of my episodes before, just a quick recap. I am a personal trainer and I have been for quite a long time. But along with that, I've worked in nutrition for quite a while. And that includes a lot of supplement stores, whether they've been in gyms or fitness centers, health food stores, full-on supplement stores. So I'm coming from a pretty good standpoint and background as far as insights into any supplements. I mean, like I've seen everything, whether it's, you know, the the thousands and thousands of different companies that are either, you know, trying to get in the stores or the new products or whatever. And I mean, I've tried everything and just for my, to be able to give my actual insights onto something, I didn't want to just have some, you know, hearsay and pass on information. I always wanted to be able to speak from experience on it and also to, you know, stand behind whatever, you're selling. And that, that was years ago and whatever, but just, I still have that approach now. And like I said, I've seen everything that there is to be sold supplement wise. And when it, like I said, I have no connection to the the companies or products I review. They're just things I find good and interesting. And again, being Canadian, if you haven't heard any of the other shows, I am Canadian. And I like to, you know, I like to be more on board with and and promote or review products that are also Canadian that I think are really good. Like if you've heard any of my other episodes on reviews, I've done ones on BioSteel, which is a big, it's kind of like a natural, more natural Gatorade. And if you watch any NHL hockey, you've you've probably seen it. It's a little more, a little more prominent now and big time players like Connor McDavid are involved in it and like an awesome company. And then Canadian protein, dot com which is again no connection to them but like to me the hands down best supplement store online they're based out of Windsor Ontario which isn't far from where I am and the quality of the products they do are incredible you know it, they're they're more than just protein that's kind of their bread and butter but they do a full line of everything um vitamins minerals um sports supplements energy supplements pro- like anything you could think of and I get all my stuff from them just because they're amazing. So that's what we've got with new energy here today. So new energy, again, spelling that. So it's N E U E N E R G Y. And if you're going to their website and want to see more there, get new energy.com. So G E T N E U E N E R G Y.com. And, and what it is, if you haven't seen it is a chewable, natural, healthy energy source. And it's primarily derived from blueberries. And a lot of the compounds that go into blueberries that make them, I mean, arguably the king of all fruits and antioxidant sources of anything you can get as far as, I mean, good, like with blueberries, you're getting a good, you know, low sugar, high fiber, super high mineral, vitamin, antioxidant, uh, compound. They're they're really like an extraordinary thing that exists in nature. And so I was first aware of new energy. If you're familiar with Jeannie Bouchard, professional tennis player, again, fellow Canuck, and she's on board with them, which is awesome too, because, you know, it's Canadians helping Canadians and being involved in stuff like that and supporting a uh, company. And they're based out of Calgary, 
Calgary Flames, if you're a fan of NHL hockey, they're out there in Alberta. And what you're dealing with with these chewable energy healthy tablets is a natural focus and energy supplement. And it's, I mean, if you you remember those candies, sweet tarts when you're a kid, I don't even know if those are specifically Canadian. I apologize to anyone who's, (laughs) that if they don't exist out there, but the larger size tablet and surprisingly good tasting. And, you know, you're thinking it's going to be potentially like a, I don't know, over artificially flavored type thing but it actually has more of a natural flavor. I'll get into that in a little bit. But again, so like I said, it's derived from blueberries, contains natural caffeine, zero sugar, carbs, or calories. They come in these little kind of cool cylinder packs that have six tablets in each. They, I don't know, they kind of look like a big, I don't know, like a sort of fat marker, like a wide marker, which you could put like obviously in your pocket, but they're easily transportable. And again, a serving size is considered two. And in each one, so you have three servings in each little cylinder. They chew up easy. I mean, they're not, it's not like a tablet you have to swallow or take with water. You just straight up eat them. And basically the main thing is to look at what's in it. And this is what makes these really beneficial. So looking at the ingredients in a two tablet serving here, starting with blueberry fruit extract. And like I said, blueberries, you know, the powerhouse fruit, one of the best sources of antioxidants out there and a key antioxidant they contain is anthocyanins and these are seen to help reduce inflammation they've been observed against protecting or protecting against you know heart disease certain cancers the the inflammatory effect like it, it's kind of nature's anti-inflammatory and if you're working out very athletic very active i mean combating inflammation is something you really want to consider and be aware of to, you know, help further your results and progress. And it, and just fighting inflammation in general is important for everyone. And we we have really kind of chronically inflamed bodies. And we're talking about inflammation. If you think, you know, if you get a splinter in your finger or whatever, it gets red and sort of heats up and that's inflammation happening. And that, But that can happen in your body, but you're not aware of it. You're not going to feel it in the same way if you like cut yourself or got the splinter or whatever. And, you know, chronic inflammation is seen to be, you know, potentially the root of made all major diseases. And we abuse our bodies from obviously inferior foods and process and manufactured junk and over-reliance on medications and poor quality water or an over intake of sugar, as well as our net, like the stress we face in our lives And then, you know, environmental stress and pollutants and toxins and things that just bombard us on a daily basis. You add these all up, you're you're looking at a very inflamed, potentially damaged body, which you're not going to be aware of till it starts showing these symptoms. It can be kind of, you know, behind the scenes and then, you know, it can come out of nowhere because I said, like, even when it's internal, you're not going to feel it as opposed to, you know, if it's, you know, like on a superficial surface, like in the form of a cut or whatever. So combating inflammation very important. And that's what you get when you're looking at, you know, these super fruits like blueberries and whatnot. And that's the, you know, the key ingredient in the new energy is the blueberry fruit extract. So the next thing we're getting into is caffeine. And we all know what caffeine does besides, you know, letting you pull all nighters at the bar or cramming for an exam that you never went to class for. And you're screwed either way for the midterm or the final. But Caffeine is, I mean, besides an energy source, can provide some good health benefits. And caffeine's been seen to reduce the risk of stroke, uh, reduce the risk of several types of cancer. It may also decrease the risk of type 2 diabetes. I mean, primarily people are going to get it in coffee form. Um, It's seen to be really good. I've done episodes on, on coffee and, you know, green coffee bean extract and green tea. And, but basically when you're looking at natural caffeine, you're looking at something that can, besides the energy, provide some good health benefits. If you're getting your caffeine from, you know, monsters and Red Bulls, that that's a synthetic garbage caffeine. And, you know, potentially with all the other crap they throw into those drinks, you're going to be looking, or, you know, like those five hour energy shots or whatever, you're going to be looking at, you know, kind of the opposite effects when you start adding in all those artificial ingredients and chemicals and 
flavorings and whatnot. Um, so getting away from what caffeine can actually be beneficial for. So the next thing that's in it is what is called pure energy. So this is actually a compound or what they call a co-crystal that combines caffeine and something called taro pure and taro. So that's P silent P T E R O P U R E. And this comes again from the blueberry. It's an antioxidant. There's, there's tons of different forms of antioxidants. You always think of antioxidant as like one thing, but like vitamin E is an anti- antioxidant and polyphenols and there, there's various forms of them. So this one we're looking at is, is interesting. I wasn't aware of its benefits as far as seeing um, how it seemed to significantly reduce blood pe- pressure in adults, which is really interesting. So when it's combined with caffeine, it creates, you know, when they say synergistic, it, it combines and creates a better effect. Um, the two things together produce something greater than each of them, kind of like a one plus one equals three thing. So when they're combined, uh, this synergistic effect um, enhances it and along with that, you know, with the reduction in blood pressure, it promotes, you know, heart health. It can help with cognitive function, um, preventing mental decline and, you know, even management of weight and management of blood sugar. Very important for anyone who's, you know, maybe pre-diabetic, has type 2 diabetes, things like that. The next big thing in new energy is what's called taro still beans. And this is, so this is where it gets like very specific with antioxidants and the different compounds that exist again in blueberries we're talking here and these um, taro still beans are what are called stilbenoids and you know besides being found predominantly in blueberries there's you know various clinical studies to show it again having anti-cancer effects the ability to combat you know high cholesterol high triglyceride properties in the body being again the idea that it can fight off even potentially reverse some cognitive function decline they are they're anti-inflammatory again they are just a good antioxidant source that can you know help you on a cellular level and antioxidants i mean you hear them all the time and you see drinks or whatever and it's got high antioxidants and what we're looking at is antioxidants are able to, you know, briefly sum it up, combat the damage that can happen from free radicals, which is kind of think about your cells. Like they say they, they oxidize, they're, they're kind of rusting when they're exposed to, you know, if something's outside exposed to oxygen, it can and rust over the long term. And, and it's basically, I mean, simplistic example, but like, that's what's happening to your cells. And the, the free radicals sort of have this spillover effect that they kind of a cascade through the cells and through the body, the antioxidants just help combat that and prevent it and prevent, you know, actual structural DNA damage and can, you know, prevent rapid aging as along with combating against, you know, various cancers and stuff like that. So amazing stuff, again, primarily derived from the blueberries. So in the the two servings, they, they look, they're probably about the size Again, apologies to non-Canadians, but they're the size of like a loony, which is our dollar coin. And most countries' dollar coins are around the same size, maybe a toonie at biggest, but around that size. So in that two-tablet serving, the dosage-wise you've got with the blueberry fruit extract, 125 milligrams. Caffeine is 59 milligrams. The, that pure energy, um, that co-crystal source is 9 milligrams, and the taro still bean is 13 milligrams. Okay, so what's it taste like? So I mentioned before, the t- like when I was trying it, I had this idea again of these of like sweet tarts in my mind that it was going to be sort of this overly sweet, almost like chemically derived sweetness, like a very artificial f- sweetness. But honestly, they're really good. It's it's definitely sweet, but it's got a bit of a fruity touch of like blueberry taste. It's not like an overwhelming blueberry, and it's not. Again, because like when they're taking the compounds out, you're not eating like Frankenberry cereal where they're just adding in that, you know, fake blueberry flavor. So more uh, more of a fruity taste. Again, everyone sort of picks up different notes and, and sort of tones. Some people say there's even like a vanilla sort of sense to it. I don't know if I pick that up personally, but 
I found it almost to have a bit of that. You know, if you're eating good quality fruit like blueberries, blackberries, they they have a bit of like a, a tartness, not not a sourness per se, but a bit of a tartness after, which is a very good sign. And when you're eating a, fr- a fruit, things that are overly sweet um, are still, you know, as, as healthy as fruit is, there are the possibilities if you have to be careful of sugars that when you're having an overly sweet fruit, it, it can, you know, um, it's still high fructose. It can maybe cause issues, again, if you're avoiding and having to be careful of sugar. So that's why berries are always the best choice because they're low natural sugar and, again, have that bit of that tartness um, sort of taste effect to it. So I found a little bit of that. Like I felt like I was actually eating something natural, not to say that they're like, overly tart or whatnot, but I was getting a, a little more of that natural flavor from it. So they're, they're very, in, I mean, they're so easy to eat. You just pop them, they chew and dissolve really quick, which is also a good sign. You're not having to like crunch, break down. It's, you know, like things that turn into sort of like a chalky paste. If something's easily um, broken down in your mouth, it's a good sign. It's going to be absorbed and utilized quickly by the body. And that's a tip. If you're ever using like a I don't know if you ever have a vitamin you want to try out or it's like, you know, in a capsule or a tablet, if you throw it in a glass of water, you can hopefully see it dissolve and you'll get a good idea how it's going to be absorbed and utilized in your body. If you wake up the next day, you know, I'm thinking like those big, like bullet um, tablets, you know, those like calcium magnesium (laughs) ones, and you could wake up the next day and it's in the exact same condition. It hasn't really dissolved. You can imagine you know, it's going to be tougher in the body to absorb and utilize it. So again, yeah, like really good flavor. And you're like, oh, I could, you know, pop a few more of these, but you want to be careful. It's again, the suggested serving is two tablets. It's not recommended to exceed 12 tablets in a 24 hour period. Again, you know, not recommended for pregnant or nursing women or for use by children, but I'm a man who is neither pregnant nor nursing that I know of. So um, I'm in the clear which is good. So again, some people a little more sensitive to caffeine. Again, that's why you want to be careful. It's a natural caffeine source, but I mean, you know, caffeine can still, in some people maybe cause a bit of jitteriness, maybe a bit of anxiety, things like that. But I'll get into that now, actually, as far as what I, I experienced. Like I don't do, I don't drink coffee. I don't really do you know, I, I do the odd, you know, pre-workout here or there, but I use like a third of the serving size. I just, I don't do really well with caffeine. Um, I, I get, I don't know, overstimulated by it. maybe just cause I don't have it on a regular basis. So when I do have some, it's a little too much. Um, so that's, I was, you know, potentially concerned, like if, you know, how I'd feel the effects, but what was really interesting is I found it to be exactly what it said, like a clean, natural energy source. And I was using it for a little while. Like, like I said, from working in nutrition, I, I give myself time before I kind of define what I think of the product or whatnot. I don't use it in like one shot and then base it all on that. I understand there's a little more of a time process for me personally. I just want to see how it works on a day-to-day basis and then ignore any, maybe, you know, potential placebo effects and things like that and sort of like use it in uh, in more of a a natural rhythm and and sort of involve it in like sort of your day-to-day routine. And to me, that's how I get more of an idea of the true effects of a supplement because, you know, it's going to be part of your repertoire. You're going to use it um, constantly. So that's where I get more of an idea. So the first time I I used it a few different ways. First time I used it was in the morning. First thing, like I said, I don't drink coffee. So I, tried just doing two of them early in the morning and I was really impressed by it because relatively quickly there's a quick sensation of feeling legitimately alert and not just that but focused and that's one of the things that the benefit of the supplement is that you know the cognitive function and alertness and awareness and it's not like you're hyper aware that you're like running all around, like you're overstimulated running around like a hummingbird. Like you've just knocked back like forks for espressos. It's, it's a clean energy. That's the best way I could describe it. It's not a jittery, it's a focused energy. And I I was sort of surprised like how clean and sort of clear 
I was feeling from that, like mentally um, and physically. It's the best way I could describe it. Describe it as like a stable, clean energy. And again, different from what you'd have from like you know a Red Bull or whatever. And I was just I was amazed and just like the clarity that that comes from it. And I don't recall any crash feeling. Um, and I just did the two that day and I was, um, you know, off, I was driving for a while, I was heading to Toronto and I was, you know, going to be active and, and moving through the day. And it was, it was like kind of an immediate, um, focused energy, which was really impressive. So then the next thing, so I'd use it like this for, you know, a little bit and then, you know, maybe have some in the afternoon. Then I tried it as a pre-workout and like I said, I've taken various pre-workouts over the years and they tend to be nothing mu- nothing more than just, you know, big shots of caffeine. Some of these things can have like 200 milligrams of caffeine in a serving and then they'll throw in, you know, some like beta alanine and maybe a small dosage of creatine and some B vitamins and so- some are like all right or whatever. And, but like I said, I, I would use like a third of a serving if ever I'd use them like half at the most. Again, I just, I don't, you know, when you're working out, you're going to naturally start elevating your heart rate and start using those energy systems. And sometimes if you have sort of an overabundance of caffeine and a higher stimulus, and I don't know, you, you can maybe be looking at over time, you know, potential like adrenal burnout or adrenal fatigue, um, overstimulating your central nervous system, just, just things like that. So like I said, I, I don't go overboard with stuff like that. So in this case with the two tablet serving, it's what, 50, 60 milligrams max, which is, you know, not even what's that even half a cup of coffee, uh, caffeine content wise, maybe close to it. But, um, taking this to the two tablets, what I did it on a back workout day. And this was a day after traveling where I was, you know, up late. I was like fatigued, didn't sleep well. You know, when you're sort of overstimulated from the day, you don't really necessarily get that restful, sleep. And then I was in the gym the next day. So I wasn't, I knew I was going to like have to naturally sort of lighten up what I did, like just reduce volume a little wise. Cause I, again, I don't want to overburden my central nervous system. Um, you don't want to get into, you know, kind of knocking your immune system down a bit when it's maybe tiny, you know, maybe faltering a tiny, tiny bit just when you've been overactive and, um, and whatnot. So, uh, did the two tablets, but again, I was amazed the focused energy and able to still maintain. And if not go a little bit more on sets and reps at the same weight, when I realized I was able to handle what I'd normally be doing, where I was expecting to have to take a step back, that was pretty amazing. And again, like not that none of that like jittery overstimulated effect that you get that can come from various caffeine sources and whatnot. So I I was, I was actually kind of taken aback a little bit that I could, um, you know, focus and, and still go through on wherever I would normally finish off for certain repetitions on an exercise. I was able to crank another one or two out in good control. So I was like, well, I, I don't know if I'll, uh, people would be using them would necessarily use them as sort of a pre-workout, but the idea is that you can use them constantly through the day and in various situations where you would need the energy. And with, with caffeine, I'm aware a lot of the research says that the effects, the noticeable effects of caffeine hit in around 20 minutes, but for performance wise, there's huge connections with caffeine and the ability to perform in athletics and, and whatever. And, but it seemed to be at around an hour point. I think there's various research on when the best time to start working out after having caffeine. Like uh, if you did say coffee in the morning, I, you don't necessarily want to start like being active right away. It does take a little bit of time to kick in. So I'm always kind of like in that, I think, you know, wait 45 minutes to an hour. Some will disagree with me on that. Some say it might be 20 to 30 minutes and you can jump in and use it. But from what I've read, I see around that hour point of where it's kind of at its best um, kind of level in the body. So I used it at around, I sort of split the difference and I think I used it like 40 minutes before workout. So um, I'm going to try it again at these various other points, like a half hour before, um, a full hour before, I think it was like maybe 45 minutes I waited before using it. So again, um, 
more than I expected as far as how it would benefit anything gym wise and strength and like back day training. I do real relatively heavy stuff. I could do a lot of deadlifts. I do a lot of barbell rows. I do a lot of chin ups, pull ups, heavy stuff. I mean, after a leg day, it's probably the most intense, um, body part you can train just because it it takes a full body effort to do a back workout properly, I believe. So I I was really amazed with um, the results I guess I got from using it before a workout. So I'll start wrapping it up here, just trying to give you as best an overview as I can. So I'll say the one con I have, and, and this might not be a con for you and I understand, is that I mean, the ones I was using anyway have some sucralose in it. And if you've listened to my show, I'm not a big fan on artificial sweeteners, primarily aspartame. And I realize sucralose is a whole different um, kind of production that goes behind it. And they say it's it can be derived from real sugar. And I don't know if that's necessarily true, uh, that it, maybe it's a, an actually like a sugar-ish concoction of different molecules, whatever. And there's, you know, there... And the, the jury's still sort of out on whether some artificial sweeteners are really that harmful or really that bad. To me, it's just something I'm not a fan of. And I realize like in something like this, it's it's a small, small dosage. And I mean, if, if I have a complaint, that would be it. And again, there might be people with enough evidence in their mind that it's not an issue. And that's cool. You know, maybe it's something over time I'll change on or as I you know, open myself up to more stuff. It's something I, you know, I look into quite a bit. Like I've done entire shows on aspartame, artificial sweeteners, the whole deal. So if you want to listen um, to uh, various other things I've been talking about today, if you go to the show notes, which is regainwellness.com slash one, five, six, I'll link up other stuff. Like I'll have, if you know, if you want to check out some of those other reviews I've done on some really cool supplements, I can link up the shows on artificial sweeteners, you know, a lot. So, I mean, again, that's my only issue with it. So overall, an amazing supplement and and really what I was hoping it would be once I'd started seeing it and becoming a little more familiar with it and something I would, you know, regularly want to use because I like, I mean, the energy source, that's really cool and the mental focus. I like the idea of the concentrations of these antioxidant compounds that come in it. And I think I've read this right on the, the, the their website and everything that there's a, like 25,000 blueberries used to make a serving. And unless I'm reading that wrong, that's amazing. So to get to isolate those concentrations and those um, compounds from the blueberry, which is such a healthy substance already. So I like that idea that I'm getting these amazing antioxidant um, variations that exist in the blueberry. So it, it's a combination of the two things. I honestly like from, I like it from a health standpoint as a health supplement, as opposed to even like an energy focus supplement to me, which is just like a bonus. So um, in my mind, I give it a good eight and a half out of 10, um, even, even nine out of 10. I mean, the, the, the sucralose thing, whatever you can dismiss me off like that, but it's, it's borderline. I mean, there's no such thing as a perfect, perfect supplement, but this is really close. And speaking on my experience with using it, I'm really impressed with it. Okay. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope uh, if this is something you've been looking at or want to get some more information about, hopefully this kind of got you up to speed with everything. Um, again, I don't have any connection. It's just, uh, if you want to check them out more, get new energy.com G E T N E U E N E R G Y dot com. If you like this show, make sure to subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Probably Apple Podcasts, iTunes, but anywhere you find. I'm on Stitcher Radio, iHeart Radio, Google Play, wherever. Wherever you get a podcast, I should be there. If you really like the show, give it a rating and review. That makes it more available and accessible to more people, and that's good. And again, the show notes for this episode, if you want to see a little more, I've got more detail on. Um, the the breakdown of the ingredients and stuff like that so if you aren't able to listen and you want to just read it whatever it's all there basically a combo thing all in one and so again that's regainwellness.com slash one five six if you are new here you can sign up to my email newsletter and i sort of i share like nutrition information and 
relevant things going on that I basically share over email. But when you sign up, you get a free ebook. So I hook you up for getting on board and it's called the Healthy Eating Starter Kit. And it's just kind of like a quick ebook guide to things you want to be avoiding big time in your diet, things you want to be including. Blueberries is one of them, spoiler alert, that I talk about. And so a quick, yeah, like starter kit if you're looking to get um, on board with healthy eating or if you need like a refresher, you know, just to get on top of that. And you can get that by going to regainwellness.com slash guide. Just throw your email in there and it's sent off to you by the magic of the interwebs. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you for listening. See you soon. Bye.